guys, sa mga Capriche Advocates, we are now here eating at, what's the name of this restaurant? Happy Fish. Happy, Happy Fish. We are so thankful. We are with our Israeli friends who invested properties in the Philippines two years ago and they are very happy to see us here. Yeah. Yeah, naman. Napakarami mga Pilipino dito sa Israel and um, si Imona and uh, the couple were sharing us that the one taking care of their baby is a Filipina, di ba? Filipinos are everywhere, really. Malu. And she is very happy about Malu. They're the Jewish. They, they invested 50 million, prop, 50 million pesos of property in the Philippines just a try out two years ago. And they wanted to see what will happen to their investment after the building is built. And who knows, more Israeli will be able to to come to our country, okay? But here's the advice. If you, the Filipinos wanted to be like them, free and rich and never have to work abroad again, you need to start investing, not buying, not spending, but investing and growing your money, okay? Take it from the Jews, the people of the Lord. Oh my God. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> You have a word of advice. She said, uh, "You have the opportunity and the chance to invest in your own, market, your own country, and make uh, a big income and have the money work for you. Mm. So put aside a little bit of your money, put it somewhere else, and you can be very happy about it in the future. So think about the future." Yes. Yeah. Hi, everybody. First of all, I agree with every word that Amuna, my friend, said. Uh, you have to understand, if you're not going to use your money wisely, you're not going to invest it wisely, you're not going to put it in real estate or something, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. You're going to get, you're going to be, after 20 years, you're going to cry about it that you didn't do anything. Put the money in a safe, in a, in a, in a good investment, buy an apartment, that's the way to do it. That's how everybody does it. That's how you reach a point. That's how you grow. If you don't do it, you're just wasting your money on nothing. And be exist so why is the western wall holy for the jews it's holy for the jews because where you see the golden dome yeah. this is the location of the jewish temple the oh jews had two temples there ah. three thousand years ago and and two thousand years ago right over there and inside the jewish temple it was divided to different sections and the holiest section in the jewish temple was called holy of holies okay it was very close to the Western Wall. And because of that, the Western Wall is holy for the Jews. So actually, the story of holy place for the Jews is not the Western Wall. The Western Wall is just a pile of stones. Mm. The holiest place for Jews is where you see where you see the Golden Dome. Now, the Jews looking at this place like kind of a stargate that connects between the spiritual world and the physical world. Oh, wow. Now, all the Jews believe that our goal in life of the Jewish people in general is to make this world a better place through spirituality, through goodness, okay? And this place is like a gate for this stuff, for this spirituality on earth.